Huh? What else? Moral soundness. Right. Huh? Moral soundness. What else? Oh. Wholeness. What else? Entirety. Entirety. What else? Soundness. Mm hmm. And what else? Pure. Yes, sir. What else? Upright. Yes, sir. And what else does it say? See on it. See on it. Go to another word in the dictionary and look up and see what that says. Huh? Mm-hmm. And that same dictionary suggested some other words very, very closely related to that lost word, such as these offsprings of the same root. These are some blood relatives of that word integrity. We have such a word as integer. Which means a whole number as over against a fraction or partial number in mathematics. Huh? Mm-hmm. And we have the word integral, huh? Mm-hmm. Which means something essential to a thing to make it what it really is and really complete. Huh? Mm-hmm. And we even have that common word integrate. Mm-hmm. Huh? Which means to make a whole unit out of a variety of parts. Mm-hmm. That's why we say one nation under God. Huh? Yeah. Talking about integration of all the various uh, cultures and subcultures in our land mm-hmm. under God. That's right. huh? Integration. Uh-huh. That's what we're talking about. That's what we find about. Now, if that is what that lost word, integrity means in itself. And in relation to other related terms, then you can see why that lost word desperately needs to be recovered by most men today. For the experience of most men today is primarily that of fraction. Most men today suffering from brokenness, dividedness, Fractions around their being and fractions within their being. Yes, well. Stormy weather is the daily weather forecast in most men's lives today. Well, just can't seem to get our poor self together anymore. And it just keeps on raining and raining yeah. and raining yeah. and storming. Point. Fractions. Yes, yeah. well. Yeah. In most men's lives, all the time. So as we view the psychological and sociological scene in our times, the panoramic view of brokenness everywhere should remind us that one lost word we desperately need to recover is that lost word called integrity. And even if we view the human predicament from a theological perspective, we become more keenly aware of our desperate need to recover that lost word called integrity. For does not this lost word, integrity, reveal the very essence of the meaning of the coming of Jesus Christ? Did not our Lord come come to us and suffer for us and die for us in order to help us to recover that lost item in our living experience. Integrity lost in our beings causing our Heavenly Father to give His only begotten Son on a cross to save us. Entirely was the issue involved in the coming of our Lord. The very essence of the meaning of our Lord's coming mm-hmm. had to do with giving us the abundant life. Again, what does abundant mean? Does it mean integrity? Oh. Huh? Mm-hmm. Integrity, abundant, full, huh? Mm-hmm. To help us to recover the full life. Yes. The life of completeness and wholeness in God. Amen. Integrity. Mm-hmm. That was the last word. Yeah. Behind the coming of Jesus, theologically speaking, also. For are not most of our lives just like that crazy man called Legion? Mm-hmm. Remember him? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Whom Jesus healed ages ago? Yeah. 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 Right. 
and man called Legion? Yes, sir. Because he had within his being a thousand different impulses making him do any and everything foolish? Yes, sir. And the whole being, one of them, uh, one sex to say, do this, another thing, and do this or that, and do this or that, and do that or that, that was in within the man. Mm -hmm. yeah, no concern effort of his will. Yes, sir. To take his being in one direction. Yes, he just as soon jump off a cliff and kill his crazy self as to go to bed and get some rest. Mm -hmm. well, yeah. A contradiction. Yeah. Divided yeah. An unresolved fraction yeah. in his being. Yes, and that is exactly why Jesus approached that fraction of a man with this kind of question. Yeah. Jesus approached him saying, Would it thou be made whole? Yes. Huh? Yeah. What is he talking about? In other words, Jesus was saying, when well, thou recover thy lost word in thy being called in fact thee? Yeah. And Legion responded, Yea, Lord. Yeah. Make me a whole man in my being with the recovery of thy lost word called integrity. Yeah. 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 And Legion was healed. Yeah. And was made whole again. And was found clothed and in his right mind when his neighbors found him later on. Yeah. Legion, the crazy man who would do anything, was made a new man with integration in his being. Yeah. Yeah. Became a redeemed soul in whom my Lord had helped to recover that lost word in his being called integrity. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, indeed. No matter how you look at it. Whether it be psychologically or sociologically or theologically. Well. No matter how you look at it. Yeah. If there is a lost word. Yeah. But we definitely need to recover. Right. That lost word would be integrity. Integrity. Yeah. That is a lost word. We desperately need to recover in every dimension of our existence. Mm -hmm. We're going to quit preaching now. Mm. Well, uh, well, now, I thought the professor here was going to go to confess, confess it. Well, the professor here was going to tell us something deep about himself. Mm -hmm. And here he is talking about what Ray said. Amen. Oh, Doc keeps telling us about recovering integrity, and he doesn't seem to have any integrity himself. Mm, yeah. Talking about he got to tell us something deep about himself that can help us to work together, and here he is talking about what Reed said. Mm. Yes, sir, Reed, if there ever was a lost word, oh, Doc desperately needs to recover for himself. Mm. Yes, sir. That lost word should be integrity. Hmm? Amen. Okay, I confess. I talked about great students. All right, I'll quit then. Well, the time is running out, mm. so I will skip over the application of integrity. We'll talk about that maybe some other time in another way. The application of integrity to my philosophy of language in item number six. So let's skip down to item number seven, where I'll make a concluding statement about myself with some degree of integrity in it. Okay, we're going to ask you to read item number seven because we're going to get away from it. Uh, like so, so read item number seven for us. And I'll get a little drink here, then we'll go and talk about uh, something specific. Number seven, the final page. Concluding practical meaning of integrity for me. Being reflected in my weekly schedule, this is distributed. Which lets me know when I am when I am available and when I ain't available. Mm -hmm. For such to be a schedule for a service to be a schedule with this with the law word integrity written all over it. Okay, now we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get away from that and go to the go to the colors material in the last page for blue sheet. We're gonna talk about that for a minute. And I'll be through in a minute. Bad mm -hmm. faith. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll look at that and then we, as we get to look at it, we go at home. In order to drive home this concluding point with integrity, 
I must ask you, as you already done it. And in those colored pages, please tell me you've already done that too. All right. Now let me point out a few items about that schedule of mine in blue. First of all, that schedule gives you an indication of my entire work week. From 8 o'clock on Mondays to 12 o'clock on Saturdays. And it indicates those specific times when I have routine commitments, which, which I can't be where I can't be bothered, and those other times when I do not have routine commitments. If you look at the bottom, you'll find that even my telephone numbers at home and at work are given to you. You see them? Huh? Amen. All because, huh, you see them? Huh? Amen. Huh? Amen. All right, you know how to reach me with the tool telephone. All because I want you to know how to reach me if you ever need me. Well. Integrity. That is the word that caused me to produce that schedule of my work week for you. An endeavor there in true blue. That's why I made it in blue, because it ain't no lie to give you an integral, integrated picture of your service whereabouts with integrity. Huh? Let's say amen to that. Amen. I ain't gonna have to do that. I would have to tell you a damn thing about where I am. Mm -hmm. Now, secondly, let me call your profound attention mm -hmm. to a special item on that schedule which you need to know with special integrity. So look at the nine o'clock hours on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Mm -hmm. The nine o'clock hour on Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. And you will see some stars all around those three hours. Huh? You see them? With the words, class meditation, written inside those stars. Well, huh? Well. Now, if you don't know what those stars mean, <laughs> let me inform you right now with integrity. Amen. Those stars mean that that is holy time. <laughs> Which must not be violated under any circumstance. Well, for that time, that time belongs exclusively and solely for my preparation for this class. Mm. That is not even my time. I can't play with it. Well, and because I came in late, I get on my knees and ask my God to forgive me because I should have been here at 9 o'clock on the dock. Mm. That time is not even my time. Well, it is my Lord's time. Mm -hmm. Time deliberately set aside for his servant to put his ear to the Lord's mouth to get last minute orders for teaching the Lord's children with integrity. Mm -hmm. That time does not even belong to the president or the dean. Well, well. So I respect them with integrity as my superiors, but that time still does not belong to them. Well, and thus I send them a copy of my routine schedule every semester mm -hmm. so that that time can be respected by everybody here with integrity. Mm -hmm. Well, that time belongs exclusively and solely to my Lord. Mm -hmm. Holy time that must be respected with integrity. Mm -hmm. So that is why I must say this with every bit of my integrity. Don't come banging on my dead blasted door for any time during that holy time set aside for my class meditation. Well, amen. even when you see me in this classroom during that time, it is still a holy hour. All right. And I do not want to see nobody about nothing well, well. during that time. Well. After class, okay. But never before class. Amen. Because that is time for integrity. Amen. Now believe me when I say this. That job in the registrar's office is one of the toughest jobs on this campus. And you better believe it. Everything crazy happens in that office every day. 
always something crazy going on up there every day. For instance, it is not uncommon, you don't see this, you don't see this, but we're just talking now. It is not uncommon to have a monkey banging on my door at my busy hour and to get me up from what I'm doing and come to find out that monkey is looking for the president's home. <laughs> so I own the president's office about to put the monkey's eye out. And here the monkey is walking by that big sign and on my door at my business hour looking for the president. Well, <laughs> now what do you think I said to the monkey? <laughs> Usually some cuss words. <laughs> And it is a daily occurrence to have a monkey bending on my door looking for the bathroom. Also, <laughs> <laughs> it happened. It happened. My first year registration. I'm around there trying to get the get the registration done, and here's some money. Went in my office by accident. It gets up, and here a monkey jumping up. And uh, the open the door. Can you tell me where that toilet is? <laughs> <laughs> now that monkey knows that he heard no toilet flushing. In my office. <laughs> well, that's it. Well, nigga, no, he ain't heard nobody farting in my office. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right. Here the nigga is breaking into my office at my busiest time looking for the toy. Well, well. <laughs> all kinds of crazy things like that happen in that office every day. Amen. From monkeys breaking in looking for the president to niggas breaking in looking for the toilet. <laughs> and the only way I can keep those monkeys and niggas off my back is to design some quiet hours deliberately. And thus I demand respect for those holy quiet hours set aside for my class meditation yeah. from everybody. Yeah. Because I've got to get my poor self together. Must have time to integrate my being to meet you each day with some degree of integrity. Amen. Good point, sir. Now, I don't mind a monkey banging on my door in the registrar's office looking for the president's office. Even though them signs are about to blind a monkey on the president's door. And I don't mind a monkey banging on my door in the registrar's office and looking for the toilet either. All right. Even though the nigga ain't heard no toilet flushing and nobody farting in my office. Don't no mind that. I can accept and live with all that crazy mess that goes with having, go with goes with having accepted that crazy responsibility. Can accept it and live with it as a necessary part of that crazy job and don't mind it too much. Alright, no mind But, <coughs> however, I do mind a monkey messing with me during those holy hours set aside exclusively for my class meditation. I do mind it. And ain't going to act like I don't mind it no day for nobody for nothing. Amen. So study that schedule in blue. Very carefully. For it revealed to thee something deep about this stranger's personal hang-up. For if there ever was a lost word that can be recovered about this stranger, it can be found on that schedule in blue. Integrity. That is a lost word which a schedule in blue is desperately trying to recover in regards to this stranger. Have a page not be through. Now let me cl conclude. I know I always run over. I knew that. So you got to go look at your watch. I look at it all the time myself. Now let me conclude this personal revelation and uh, just, to, just to take this way, that I don't start off like that we are, we are strangers. I thought just like everything all the time. And uh, well, I feel that way about you. So uh, if you hear me saying, so don't take your son and monkey trying to pick at me, I don't pick at nobody. I just deal with you like I do all the time. Now this, let me conclude this personal revelation about this stranger on a positive note. Because I've been acting pretty mad in the last few seconds. 
Well, the intention behind this personal revelation is positive, not negative. Well, now to be sure, this insight into my being might not be absolutely clear. Mm -hmm. To be sure, it comes as an image in a mirror dimly seen. Mm -hmm. But I can assure you that such image, though dimly seen, is enough of a vision for us to live by and get along with. Yeah. And that is something, at least something, to begin to live by until that blurry image becomes clearer as time passes on. And let me further assure you of this. And you can stand upon this promise almost, almost, not quite, but almost as surely as if God himself said it himself. If you can accept the meaning of this blurred vision about this stranger in reference to that two schedule. If you can comprehend the motive of love behind it, I promise you, I guarantee you in the name of the Lord, I promise you that we shall overcome this year with homiletical integrity. For if there ever was a lost word, I hope to lead us to recover in greater depth through personal example that lost word would be homiletical integrity under our God. Amen.